like most media enterprises nowadays, modern media enterprises, we are looking at the way that we do business almost as a supply chain environment. So in every single one of the components of that supply chain environment, whether it is content acquisition, content manipulation, and content distribution, we are constantly looking at the best way to do our business. It is absolutely important that on a constant basis we update our technology, we update our use of the technology so that we have lower costs, we bring to the table more functionality uh, for our content producers, for our journalists as they go about you know, uh, fulfilling their mission. So when you look at, uh, for example, content acquisition, we used to use extremely expensive cameras. Nowadays, a lot of our content is coming to us uh, via, you know, cell phone cameras, uh, via, you know, very cheap, uh, you know, consumer use and consumer grade type of technology. We are constantly migrating to the latest ways of distributing uh, that content. Uh, it used to be that, you know, we mostly distributed our content via radio, uh, either shortwave or medium wave. We are now making extensive use of satellite distribution, uh, not only to our transmitting stations throughout the world, but also direct to home with direct to home satellite, uh, direct to home TV. Uh, direct to home radio, uh, and also via the internet. Uh, you know, there is a tremendous migration throughout the entire world uh, and through, uh, you know, to consumption of content via the internet. And so we are streaming every single content uh, that we produce via the internet at the same time that we are distributing it on other platforms. As our target populations continue to make this inexorable migration into IP technologies uh, and internet, uh, you know, access to content, and as the country Countries that are trying to curtail that access continue to employ more and more sophisticated types uh, or methodologies and firewalls to prevent that access. It is absolutely important that we keep up with those technologies because at the end of the day, uh, we have to make sure that the people that want access to our information are going to be able to access the information regardless of the barriers that their censoring governments are putting in front of them.